Even though we're a month into the spring season, the weather hasn't exactly been cooperating. Just last week we saw snow, causing many people to wait to start work on their gardens. Most people think you can't plant your flowers or your vegetables until like after Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. But you can put in pansies and violas and primrose now. You can plant early lettuce, you know, some of your greens. Um, I'm doing, you know, like the vegetable class I do. Um, we're showing people what will take frost mm -hmm. and what, you know, you don't have to worry about running out there and going, oh, no, it's going to be dead tomorrow morning. Yeah. It's going to be alive and well because it takes the cool weather. Dennis James is owner and head grower at DJ's Greenhouse. Here we see him giving out seeds of knowledge for those interested in learning how to get their home garden started. Epsom salt contains calcium and magnesium. And peppers and tomatoes require some calcium and magnesium in the soil to help them set fruit and produce more fruit. A little goes a long way. And we used to mix like a tablespoon and a quart of water and just spray it on the pepper plants. I'm telling you, they greened up in three days. So it does work, but like anything else, follow the directions. Because a little works doesn't mean a lot works better. <laughs> We're gonna talk to them about prepping their garden that maybe in the next week, once we start to warm up, and the weather stays a little more stable, they can put lettuce in, they can plant their peas, um, they can do radishes, mm -hmm. um, different, you know, parsley, and uh, even cilantro. For those that like it, you know, you can plant that early because it takes a frost. DJ's holds different garden-related classes several times a month for beginners and experts looking to learn how to improve their gardens. I've been gardening for 40 years and there's still something that I don't know. I just came down to learn a few things about planting vegetables because I am a novice, you know. Okay. I'm having fun, but now it's time to kind of get serious about it. It was 35 years ago that DJ got serious about gardening. With the help of his parents, he built his first greenhouse in 1983. It was about 1,400 square feet, but over the years, business grew, and DJ now has 17,000 square feet of greenhouse space and five acres of gardens. We want people to come and see the gardens. Uh, we have a pavilion we built so that people can hold uh, picnics there. We've had weddings in the gardens, uh, showers. I love growing plants. I love watching them grow, and I love making people happy that they can take these plants home and enjoy them there. For those looking to start a garden, DJ says location is key. So if you're going to do a garden in your yard, survey the area. Make sure it gets no less than eight hours of sun a day, mm -hmm. preferably the hot afternoon sun. Unless you know what your soil is like, you want to go out and test it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go through Agway or Penn State or something to send soil tests off to them. It will tell you what your soil needs. To learn how you can attend a class, you can go to djsgreenhouse.com, like them on Facebook, or follow them on their new Instagram page. This is a great place. Yeah, everybody should come. Quality plants. DJ's here to answer questions. People are so nice. They help you out to your car. It's a good place to come.